You know me, we're not gonna do it. Wait, can I just throw the nade over there? Please tell me I didn't aggro anybody. Boom! Only one of them exploded! Only one and none of them even aggroed! Well, that's sad. Hey, yo, guys! It is me, Hepasoyak, and welcome back to Last in Earth Survival. So today, we're gonna do something different, something that I've never done before on this channel. You're gonna do a raid, Cyric, right? You're gonna do a raid! Yeah, we're gonna do a raid. So if you're enjoying raids, then smash that like button on the video, and you know, like, there's, like, that meme floating around, like, if this video is gonna hit two likes, I'm gonna literally drink water. So yeah, for real, if this video is gonna hit two likes, I'm literally gonna drink water. Actually, I'm gonna assume that you've already hit two likes, so oh. all these amazing jokes aside now let's finally get to the raid here so i brought with me two c4s just as usual and first things first uh i think we're gonna just scout out the base so i already oh no oh no <laughs> i don't think i've ever raided this base in the past just look at that there's like literally this trip wire and uh, that's kind of a smart placement of the trip wire because if i'm gonna explode that door zombies will still be able to trip on that wire and at the same time just think about it clearly we're gonna raid this base really soon but just hear me out like imagine this huge trip wire like you literally have to be legally blind to not see like this trip wire i have pretty bad vision but without glasses i still would be able to see like that trip wire whatever i don't think nah i cannot take like this electric generator so probably maybe i'm just gonna place a c4 somewhere in a different place instead of like that trip wire he's definitely smart for placing that trip wire there but i think we're gonna outsmart him okay so radio is somewhere here i think radio is gonna be here but not here i'm Hundred. Okay, ju just to be more certain, I'm gonna place a C4 over here. I might have just completely wasted it. Probably I just wasted it. Uh, oh no! Oh no! I cannot go through this. No! Oh no! Wait. Oh yes. No, I wasted it. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least now I can know what's up with this base. So hey, everywhere C4. It's kind of annoying that you cannot go through his ATV. That's really, really annoying. Wait, I'm gonna unzoom and it looks like I'll maybe be able to go. Do I place another C4 close to the... <laughs> so I might be crazy. I'm placing one more C4 over here. I'm not really sure if I'll be able to... Yeah, I was able to exit. I did not get stuck between like those things. That's it. Now we're gonna deal with this wave of Zamzams. And uh, even if I placed a C4 here, I would have been stuck there anyways. Wow, so this guy actually crafted a pretty smart base because it looks like he's literally protecting it it literally feels like if you're gonna go through this door you're gonna get to his base but no there's still one more extra wall so this is a pretty smart design base but again we are still raiding here ai players so who knows what kind of is a good base what kind of is a bad base because we are being raided by bots not by real players and i'm totally out of c4s i came back to my chopper to leave all the extra c4s but i don't have any extra c4s i brought with me only two c4s so hey i stole some gasoline from this dude's chopper and you know what maybe it was not the best start to the video here maybe it was not the best raid yet but uh at least it was fine at least it's something different rather than just placing one c4 and going back to the base so I kind of like it. I see one more chest over there, so I think we're going to open it up really soon. But before that, uh, let's open up at least one more chest from this door. I mean, from this room. So let's open up our first chest, and inside we're going to get nothing. Nothing. Imagine that. Imagine that. Whatever. If we're going to get nothing in this chest, that's it. That's... Oh, well, we've gotten some water. Hey, I'm going to stick, like, two stacks of water, a little bit of carrots. And I think we're going to deal with one more wave of Zamzams. After that, I'm going to chop down, like, that level to wall that I see up the top. And uh, that's it. I mean, I do have probably a couple of C4s in my inbox, so I could use one more C4. Sack, please waste that C4! Yeah, we might actually maybe waste even one extra C4. Okay, so for some reason, two extra abominations just spawned out of nowhere. So yeah, I'm gonna deal with those schmucks. And uh, that's very nice that I didn't waste one more C4. This is like, this is very amazing because as I said, I really wanted to waste one more C4 to get to this place. But hey, it looks like I would have just literally wasted it. Just for the sake of education, I want to go and chop down one level to wall here. Maybe we're going to get something inside. And if we get nothing, hey, we're going to... Oh, we've gotten four chests. Very nice. Let's open them up and let's see what kind of goods we're going to get inside. Okay, so... Mm, thousand MGLs. That's it. Thousand MGLs. Nothing. Nothing. Well, whatever, I think one more wave of Zamzams has spawned here, so let's do our snap transition. Well, I think Zamzams are sleeping, and now let's continue opening up here these chests. If this chest is gonna be empty, then hey, that's gonna be very sad. This will be one of the worst, I think this is one of the worst raids. Do I even, do I use one more C4? But again, the big one is gonna spawn, like, instantly. I just wasted this entire raid. I wasted this entire raid. Literally, just for the sake of your entertainment, we're gonna place one C4 over here i'm gonna destroy the everything the big one is gonna spawn like literally right now yeah the big one is literally here let's imagine the big one is here already i'm gonna heal up and i'm gonna open up like this chest i'm gonna take all and uh, he's gonna shred me into smithereens uh healing up 
Uh, healing up and nothing here. Taking- Oh no, I put everything there! I've put everything there! Everything that I had, all my hatchets! I'm an idiot! Zero IQ! Literally, that was a zero IQ move, not gonna lie. That was the most zero IQ move I've ever done. Okay, so I'm just gonna try to roam around this base and uh, maybe I'll be able to hop back inside and take all of my hatchets because that's all I want now. I just literally want to get my hatchets. Okay, so I think when I'm gonna be around the corner, I'm gonna activate some sort of a sprinting skill. And, uh, we will see. Again, you cannot kill the big one. For those thinking that, hey, Sayak, hey, don't be a dumb dumb. Just kill the big one. You cannot kill the big one. I said that already so many times. Oh, no, I just wasted my time. Why am I even running around? Okay, it's just to get rid of those toxic abominations, I remembered. Uh, let's get over here. Uh, I'm gonna open up, like, this chest, dude, and take all. That's it. I don't really know what else is in that chest. I don't think there's anything else. So this base does not get Sark's approval. Again, probably it's a really great base. Maybe you've already raided that base. Maybe somewhere in the middle of it, you're gonna be able to get, like, stacks of steel. You're gonna get, like, 1,000 MGLs or whatever. But I did not get that. And honestly, I'm happy with that. It was a fun base. So even... You know what? This base gets Sark's approval. Sark's approval is my approval. And this base gets Sark's approval. Sark, what is wrong with you? This was a godfather's base. This is like, that base was like a father to me. Zero joke, like, goddammit, I just I should delete my channel. So right now, just as always, we're gonna start preparing now for a second raid, and luckily I've gotten a pretty nice task where I have to do with the fourth floor and also deal with five turrets, so this basically is, like, almost a perfect task because most of the turrets are on the fourth floor. And I also brought with me a couple of, like, literally low durability garbage weapons that just so that I could clear this bunker a little bit faster, so don't worry, we're not gonna spend here 84 years doing that bunker alpha, but I also wanna open up a couple of crates because I have a couple of, like, those green tickets. I didn't take any red tickets with me, but hey, whatever. At least we can open up the red and orange crate. Let's do this. Uh, let's loot these dudes. Let's take everything. And inside of this crate, we're gonna get a gas tank. Wow, that's so great. Who cares about that gas tank? Okay, so here we're gonna get an M16 and a Glock. Pretty okay. And in this crate, just a Glock. I mean, fine, fine. What else can I expect? It's not like I expected stack of steel from there. Oh, and also I brought with me my doggo. My Bobby the dog, just so that I could go and open up like those two secret rooms. And I think in both of those secret rooms, you can get pretty great loot. Not like I think I'm pretty sure about it that you can get pretty okay loot. Besides, if you're gonna get only like that one copper ore, then it's garbage, so I guess we're gonna see that really soon. Wait, I forgot to take my spread shot. Spread shot in the face. Floater, bloater, sleep, sleep. And we're gonna get that thing. And now, Doggo, open up the door. Please show me what we're gonna get inside of that door. Please tell me an MGL. And here we're gonna get a steel plate. Okay, so I was joking about that MGL. But uh, one steel plate is pretty fine. I like it. I like it. Okay, so I want to get rid of, like, those. You know what? We're going to use, like, four, four first aid kits first just so that I can get more space in my inventory. And uh, then I'm going to start using my bandages. Don't really want to waste my first aid kits. Okay, so floater bloaters. Sleep, sleep. Everyone goes to sleep, sleep. And yeah, just as I said, after that, we're going to go straight away for the second raid. And hopefully second raid is going to be a bit better than the current raid that we're that we've done today. Okay, so I've just gotten a nade. And it would be really cool to save that nade. But you know me. You know me, we're not gonna do it. Wait, can I just throw the nade over there? Please tell me I didn't aggro anybody. Boom! Only one of them exploded! Only one and none of them even aggroed. Well, that's sad. Triple question mark. What's up with that? I don't get it. I don't get it. Whatever. We're gonna bring back those tickets. And uh, yeah, hopefully the second raid will be a bit better. Even though, again, I gave it Sarek's approval. So maybe you might think that, hey, that raid was fun or whatever. Sarek's approval doesn't mean that it's fine. I'm still trying to figure out what Sarek's approval means. Sarek's approval doesn't mean that it's good. Doesn't mean that it's bad or whatever. Sarek's approval means Sarek's approval. So it doesn't mean anything. No, it actually has lots of value, but... I don't know what- uh, where is that value, honestly? Okay, so we're gonna now deal with this turret. Sleep, 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 sleep. And one more shot, that's it. So this is our first turret, so four more turrets left. Also, this place is gonna have, like, two of those huge turrets, but there's no way I'm gonna be wasting my entire weapon on that big turret. Unless I'll do it just for the memes, but hey, we'll see. Let's open up that thing. All of them are gonna attack us. We're gonna just spread shot them. And how on earth did I just get some health? My guy just restored, like, maybe I ate something. Probably just ate, like, some sort of beans or whatever, and that's how I restored my health, yeah. I've just probably eaten, like, those carrots, too, and that's how my guy started restoring his health. Okay, so I'm gonna now run through this place, like, really, really quickly. Gonna just sprint through this thing so you don't have to go and destroy those turrets. Just healed up. We're gonna go down. Here we go, just healed up. Everything's easy peasy. I'm gonna take my AK here as with AK is gonna be a bit faster. Also probably a spread shot. Let's open that up. Spread shot in their face and... Uh, okay, so no AK. I just accidentally brought this VSS. Whatever, it's fine. Who cares? Another one, another one. And now we're gonna bring that AK because there's gonna be like that savage giant and I wanna deal with that savage giant. Not savage giant, but frenzy giant. I wanna deal with him before he punches me and this AK is perfect for that work. Sleep, sleep. 
We're gonna get another orange ticket. We're gonna activate the terminal. And basically, we're like, what? 40% done with this entire fourth floor. And this place is gonna have two extra turrets. So I'm gonna definitely deal with those turrets. Let's waste like those. Not really waste, even though maybe somebody would consider it wasting. But hey, probably it is wasting. But I just wanna deal with those two turrets. Let's deal with this turret. Let's deal with one more turret. And that's it. So this was our third turret. So two extra turrets left. And I think I'll be able to get those turrets at the end of like, let's say, second and third floor or whatever. Or maybe I'll even use one turret here. Yeah, I think we'll be able to open up one more turret here just for the memes. Because there's another big turret that's gonna guard some sort of a big chest. And I'd like to open it up. Yes, we're gonna get here a flare gun. So honestly, we've gotten here really nice stuff from the fourth floor. Even though I'm obviously wasting here lots of guns and whatever. But hey, we're doing it just literally for the memes. Just for the sake of edutainment, entertainment, and education. But at the same time, I don't see uh, where is the education here. I'm educating you that if you're going to use bullets, you're you're going to lose durability in your gun. So this is education. 100% education. Uh, one battery. We don't care about that battery. So this place is going to have a frenzy giant. Uh, I'm going to put that frenzy giant to sleep. Uh, here we go. Goodbye, frenzy giant. Was nice talking to you. And behind that other door, there's gonna be like that big turret that I just spoke about. So I wanna get like that red ticket, boom. And I think I'm gonna deal with that big, big turret just so that I could open up that other secret chest. Not like really secret chest, but hey, sometimes you can get good stuff in that chest. So I wanna open it up. I think I opened that chest up maybe like less than 10 times. I've definitely opened that chest up uh, less than 10 times. I'm wasting AK just on this heavy turret, but hey, it is what it is. So let's get. Some stuff from the heavy turret. Nothing here. Let's open up another crate and let's see what kind of goods we're going to get here. And uh, we're just going to get one aluminum bar and one bandage. That's it. So it was totally not worth the effort and not worth your items to go and deal with that turret. I just wasted literally like... I literally wasted probably entire durability AK just for one bandage and one aluminum bar. So that's bad. That's really bad. And probably the best loot you can get here there like what? It's probably nothing. So yeah, I just wasted that gun. I shouldn't have destroyed that turret. But again, done it only for the sake of tasks. I don't think I would be destroying it if I didn't care. If I didn't have like that deal with five turrets task. Uh, I'm gonna deal with another Nam Zam Zam. And I think I'll only have to go to the second floor. Maybe on the third floor. Yeah, I think the turret on the third floor is actually closer than on the second floor. Because the second floor turret is actually kind of by the end of the bunker alpha and the turret on the sec on the third floor is actually a little bit closer so all i'll have to do now is just quickly jump to the third floor deal with that one more turret and we can go for one more raid baby that's what we are gonna do let's open up the door let's activate here the terminal and now we're gonna open up two secret chests Again, why do I keep calling them secret chests when they're just two simple chests? Like, nothing is secret about them. You can see them. But hey, let's call them secret chests because that's more fun. Let's guys open out one more chest over here and let's see what kind of goods we're going to get inside. So inside of this chest, we're going to get like grenade, a garbage copper. And uh, yeah, that's it. Even though, again, I'm not really saying that copper bar, uh, copper ore is kind of garbage. Because again, with five copper ores, you'll be able to get one copper bar. One copper bar is literally like one steel. So hey, that's... That's good enough. Wasn't really bad of a crate. Like, look at this. We've gotten some more copper uh, ore. I just don't really know what to get rid of. Well, I do have one more space. So I'm going to take it just like that. Another copper. Uh, I can even take like this first aid kit. Oh, and I can probably get rid of like this armor. Just to be quicker. Just to not delete it. I'm just going to dump it over here like that. It's faster. And now, just as I said, we're going to quickly hop to the third floor. Yes, I think I used my doggo here on the fourth floor completely. There's nothing else that we can open up. So we're going to hop to the third floor. And again, I just have to mention that this is not the way you're supposed to do like this bunker alpha if you want to know how to clear bunker alpha efficiently and be really really efficient here with this game and get rich quickly then make sure to check out my free to play playlist there i literally explain how to play the game i give all the tips and tricks that i know and whatever but here we're just doing bunker alpha like basically the fastest way possible or at least like more fun way possible and that's it because i don't really want to go and sneak behind every guy here with katana uh, with machete crowbar or whatever any other melee weapon i just want to do this bunker alpha and be done with it and go for one more raid. Let's use our minigun. I'm gonna deal with this Toxica bomb. Toxic abomination, sleep. Another Toxica bomb, sleep. Let's deal with this. And that's it. Now, there is only one more turret left, so we're gonna deal with this turret, and we are gonna go for the raid. Uh, you know what? Turret versus me and minigun. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That's it. Turret is sleeping, but turret can't sleep, you might tell me. Well, how... Well, but then why is it sleeping? I don't get it. If you tell me the turret can't sleep, then why is it sleeping here now? 
Hmm? These are the questions that we need to get answers to. Whatever, so inside of this chest, we're gonna get another red ticket. Boom, that's it. And I'm totally not gonna be clearing this entire third floor as I don't really need to get any extra tickets. And I wanna just mention another thing that actually whenever I open up the crates, I do come back here and I take all the loots from these crates because some people are saying, hey, Sark, you forgot that stuff from the crates. Just because I don't show that I don't come here and don't take, don't drag this item here and I don't say, hey guys, I'm dragging this gas tank into my inventory. I did not forget that. Doesn't mean that I did not take it. So welcome now to the raid number two and this base is called tactical. So I'm assuming that we're gonna be able to get here a tactical backpack. <laughs> Another very amazing joke, like 10 out of 10 joke. And I don't think I've rated that base in the past because I think I would have remembered this kind of particular name. Maybe yes, maybe no, I don't know. In any case, who cares? I'm just gonna hop inside of the base here. I'm gonna open up a couple of chests and uh, if I don't get anything, I'm gonna start chopping down the walls. Just literally empty tin cans, dude. Look at this dude giving me empty tin cans. Okay, so I'm gonna try to open up uh, one wall and we'll see if there are gonna be any extra chests. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So maybe I'll even have to waste my 1c4. But before that, I think I'm gonna open up a couple of extra chests and here a bunch of rope. You know what? It's not really that bad. If you really require rope, then maybe, well, it would be like a pretty nice raid, but eh, I don't really need any rope. I don't need anything over here. So uh, I'm gonna open up another chest and then we're gonna use a c4 because we're gonna have, yes, a thick cloth. And yeah, what I wanted to say is that we can still definitely open up like that door. We still have enough like that noise meter. So I'm gonna deal with another floater bloater. That's it, floater bloater, goodbye. And now I can go back here, go to my chopper. We can take another c4. And I think here I can literally leave like those thick cloths in my backpack. I mean, in my backpack of the chopper, yes, I'm te technically correct. In my luggage, basically. And I think I'm gonna place a C4 somewhere over here. Now, Doggo, get out of here. Get out of here, go away. Yeah, that's it, boom. We were able to open that up and here we're gonna get uh, nine chests. I think that's dope. I mean, if that's not cool, I don't really know what is cool. So we're gonna get here nine chests. And uh, I think I'll even be able to open all of them up before the big one spawns because again, this base wasn't really that huge. And I can smell something good in those chests. Again, maybe it's just me, but who knows? So already in the first chest, we're gonna get here one first, I mean, seven first aid kits, then bandages, a little bit of beans, uh, more beans and some berries. Again, you can actually eat berries raw. But if you're cooking berry tea, then you're a psychopath. Don't cook berry tea. But I can love berry tea. <laughs> I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that ever again. Don't talk about berry tea. Let's open up, guys. One more chest and let's see. Uh, inside of this chest, we're going to get like literally iron, iron, a little bit of iron plates and more aluminum bars. Wow. Well, that's it. Let's open up one more. So I still have like 40 noise to make. And I don't really know if I'll be able to open everything here. Let's get some more duct tape, another one of those. So I think after this chest, another wave of Zamzams is gonna spawn. Obviously, we're gonna do like that snap transition. Nothing here, nothing here. Some orange paint, red paint that I require. And uh, yeah, uh, let's take like those air filters and let's do a snap transition. Well, that's it, Zamzams are completely sleeping. There's nothing else that I need to take from this chest. So we're gonna continue opening up these chests and maybe the big one is actually gonna spawn. I think I can open up like three or four extra chests before he spawns, whatever. Doesn't matter, I still be able to open all of them up before he kills me i hope so so nothing really here a bunch of these atv wheels so for those who really need those atv wheels for their atv you'll be able to get them but truth to be told atv wheels are going to be the least of your concerns when you're assembling that atv because you will require to get like those atv transmissions you will require to get like those gas cylinders and they are much more painful to get than those atv wheels so hey don't really bother about them because chances are if you're going to get like 10 atv transmissions and if you're going to get like 20 or whatever gas cylinders then most likely you're already gonna have enough ATV wheels so I'm gonna do like two hits over here I'm gonna do two hits over here and uh, yeah I don't really know what can I get rid of so I'll have to be very quick well if I'm gonna get anything I'm just gonna drag out this line I kind of sorted out what I don't need so let's open up like this just boom and inside a stack of this I like it like it and inside over here nothing really that much so you know what this base I don't even know if this base gets or not if it gets our support or it does not get it. This base gets our approval. So I highly suggest you checking out this awesome green hell video or click here on the second card and you'll go to one of the most beautiful games ever or hop over to my channel, go to playlist and there you'll find a lot of other games that I played here on the channel. If you're not subscribed yet, definitely make sure to drop the subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos. And consider following me on Instagram or Twitter at Epicyric. Mm-hmm. Yeah.